Greetings everyone, hello and welcome back to Galactic Civilizations 4 Supernova Update 2.2 once more. Welcome back, glad you're still sticking around to this sponsor series by Stardock Entertainment. And if you're interested in this game, please don't forget to check out the link in the description. And leave a like if you're so kind enough. Now we continue onwards uh, with the expansion of our glorious Yor uh, civilization that we have here right now. Um, our robots, right? Not particularly friendly looking, but definitely not too, too hostile there to anyone that, well, is kind enough to give me their biological uh, bodies. Now for harvesting. We are continuing with um, the core worlds that we want to settle. So we have already... A colony over here the volcanic one that is supplying my core world and i would like to work on a core world too now and that is um somewhere over here where the colony ship is at the moment on its way now all right so it's still taking it about three turns four turns for bundy two and then we hopefully get this new outpost at the same time I'm also sending over a fighter for protection and i'm also sending over now a constructor for a star base outpost as well so that we can secure the sphere of influence and for this against any hostile interferences. Uh, we continue right away over here as well with my fighter that has explored that last system. There's a rock and a rock over there. Um, yeah, sounds great. It isn't. It is class zero dead walls here all around. Um, and then the Promethean uh, base over there that we can use then for some proper exploitation. Let's continue. Uh, this is outside my fleet range. I cannot explore outside of this only with probes so i'm going to keep that fighter now and i'm going to send it over together with my other two fighters here a bit more to the center of my of my domain i mean at this point you can say that this is my domain right there's no one else coming in for now and we will be able to um yeah secure it then pretty soon uh securing it we have lots of fighters now by the way so we could actually be a sizable military force I'm not seeing any hostiles though, so I'm not going with that for now. What I would like to do is I'm going with another constructor because obviously we do need that. And I would also like to do some colony ships. Let's go ahead with two of them actually because we're going to need a few more balls. Actually, you know what? Let's have one of them in queue number one. That is what we're focusing on. Then a constructor and then a colony ship again. This constructor that we have finished now too, let's get it over here. There was, there is another Promethean. Let's get this one into our sphere. And my colony ship gets one step closer. Holy cow. I would be so angry if someone now settles on that before we do. All right. Defensive studies, another two months. And Iconia has finished the research district here. That gives me a research seven on this. So it's significantly boosting the output again. And we are having a plus 18 science output now. And uh, it's a level 7 one right off the bat. That's just super crazy, really. The manufacturing, for example, at level 3 only, right? This one, wealth is important because we're dropping further. Everything that we build costs money. Also on the maintenance side. So I can't, I can't allow this one to drop to zero. So there's going to be a bit of a wealth district here. It actually gets then also boosted by my capital city. Next up is my cultural progression, my cultural traits that we can um, assign to. That's a new tech that we have unlocked now, now that we have 15 cultural points. We do get them by generating them per month, of course, and we also gain additional points via events, special improvements and stuff. And yeah, we also have enough now for the first point that we can activate. Um, and we need to decide where we want to go here. We could go for individualism. It doesn't really make sense for a collective AI force. Um, we could go for progressivism. This is actually, this makes sense because we already have the neural nexus. And this will further boost our research outputs and also basically just adjust us to a huge super gigantic research computer and we could also go for collectivism for example that we are strong together this is also really cool um as it, it gives me a huge influence boost then across the board or totalitarianism we could go into military tact then as well let's go for progressivism i haven't done this yet i think and with that we get the first point here eureka and abandon the fear of change and embrace discovery temporary approval boost after discovering a new tag and plus 30 research points perfect i'm happy with that with that we're down to seven cultural points again the next upgrade comes with 16 points so at least nine turns we need to wait for that right and then we get further down the road here all right so that's another um specialization that we can do 
All right, this one actually has also reached the end. So let's go ahead for automatic exploration. I don't really care anymore. So if it finds a few more anomalies that we can research, then the better. Defensive studies has been finished researching. And with that, we get a better plating and shield strength out of my ships. All right, all right, all right. Mm, yeah, both of them are really good. Improved manufacturing districts. Let's go with that for now, because we really have a lot of research already. All right, let's end the turn, because I think there's nothing else that we can do right now. There it is. Yeah, we have grown a bit here. We are also growing a bit here. And hopefully, we are one step closer here to my Bundy 2. One more turn, and then the big day is upon us. There's also these fleets again, the Bundy fleets. And they're still neutral. We'll just see where it goes. I might actually need to build a few more ships now that I think about it. So let's go to my shipyard. And yeah, we're going with the colony ships, obviously. But then I would also like to go for some of my fighters here now. So we got the frigates, right? They got a nice uh, fighting power already. So let's build us a few of them then as well. Getting this out of the way is important. All right, that fighter here. Yeah, you can go there and wait it out. Put on standby. Uh, manufacturing population out of five months. We need to wait. And we got a new one here. Use your vast power to impel private industry to deliver you some new modules for a star base. This cost me some credits and we will get new star base modules. Not super important right now. All right, I think, I think, I think, I think that's it for now. Yeah, he also tells me the advisor here, we should colonize Bundy too. I'm doing this already. So we are close to that. And I think about that. We have some ship upgrades available for what exactly? For Oh, my surveyor ship. We should do this. Uh, all of these ships can be upgraded individually as well. And that's pretty pretty important, right? Because with that, we can boost its, its output. And let's just see what we could give it. Sensor range increase, movement speed increase, all crew quarters for more hit points. I think we're going with the sensor range increase. Discover more wonders and avoid its threats. Or oh, actually move my points. Nah, let's go with communication. Perfect for researching. And this one takes another two months. Let's end the turn. I don't see that much else that could happen here. Ah, and there is a battle. All right. And in this case here, that's the space monsters. And of course it can't be that easy, right? There they are, and they will... Oh. They're attacking my colony ship. Yeah, we are going to lose that colony ship here, unfortunately. Yeah, it's lost. All right. Uh, weapon systems. We need to fight. A new colony ship we have finished. Let's give it a citizen a go. And we will need more fighters before we go at that again. So they're hostile after all, right? It was so close already. I mean, come on. Now we need to get the fighters over. Let's get my fighter. Let's get the other fighters. And it's on. Alright, let's get the three. So we have a, a bit of a fleet then here already gathering. It's just so far away. That's the problem, really. Um, let's not go with a constructor. Nope. Let's not go with another colony ship. Let's go with frigates. Frigates are the most important one, the most powerful ones that I have right now. And I would like to get them out there ASAP. Let's end the turn. Another battle, I think. No. Oh yeah, they're attacking once more. And we are going to have another total loss here. Alright, but they lost actually two ships there as well. Embark on a journey through the stars as we unveil the top five galactic civilizations with the most colonized worlds. What? There are some? No. I thought these are the numbers of worlds they have colonized. That would be crazy. But of course, we're not with them yet. Uh, target computer. Missile range we get. Beam attack. And kinetic damage we get in addition. Alright. Space elevators. Allows us to quickly move resources into orbit and begin constructing supply ships. What? The quick research now, really? And uh, do we have anything for uh, fleet to go beyond maximum rated speed? Oh, this is something nice. Cost me some, a bit of control there really. But with that, we could improve the, the speed of my ships. 
Temporarily or forever? I think for one turn. That's not so great. We need we need a fleet. Yeah, we've also finished this anomaly, so we can go for the next capsule. And what do we Journey get out of it? Journey to the farthest corners of space. Your flagship encounters a mysterious cargo container. When your team opens it, they find an incredibly sophisticated enemy defense sabotage module. This device has the power to permanently weaken an enemy planet's defense capabilities against invasions. It accomplishes this by releasing trillions of tiny, self-replicating crystalline orbs which harm the planet's air-based defense system. Well, that sounds pretty cool. Uh, we could store it or we could also sell it. Let's sell this one because this is for invasions and I'm not expecting an invasion soon. And I'd rather take the money uh, for more leaders. By the way, we can still only have those three leaders at the moment that I've already got. Uh, it's problematic, really. That was such a perfect cobalt, and we need to wait again for it to pop for us. Then the turn. We need chips. We need chips. Manufacturing. Next one comes, and I'm probably going to put the next one. We have finished the financial district there, by the way. Leads to 1.46 income again. So that's actually something that's valuable for us. And that probe here. Another dead world that we found over there. Pretty far outside. And let's go for automatic exploration here. Oh, wait a second. That looks good. There is another star system. Alright, those frigates take some time. I still have my fighters too, but we are not going to send them in there just aimlessly. Look at that, they're gone again, right? They're over there, so I guess it was just unlucky that the colony ship was there. I think they're patrolling around here just aimlessly. <sighs> yeah, what can you do about it? Not much. Unfortunately. Oh, look at that. That's a very interesting system. That's one of uh, uh, one of those rare systems. There's a class 24 amazing planet and a class 20, uh, 34 amazing planet. Holy shoo. This is huge. Which is also once again very far outside and there's these space monsters close by. But that's just a nest. That's just manufacturing the ships. That's interesting because we could destroy it perhaps. Yeah, that's a really cool system there. And there's also my first frigate. Area patrol ship with mass driver based weapon systems. That looks really cool and way bigger than the other ones. And yeah, let's move them all over here now. Going to take it six turns. But we are, we need to have a, a chance there against them. The next manufacturing district has been finished. Um, I'm very inclined to just go with the next one. Mm, supply depot we have as well. This is boosting manufacturing output by 10%. Uh, approval rating by plus one. And also uh, it gives me a plus level two to manufacturing districts close by. So that's something once again that is actually pretty nifty to have. So with that we could boost those manufacturing districts here. And I think... I'm going to place it here. We're boosting two districts with that. Makes the most sense to me. Yeah, because we can also boost on those districts here in addition, right, with this single one there. And the rest I don't really need. I would actually just go ahead with the next manufacturing district then. Really, we need to we need to get more manufacturing because more manufacturing means more ships faster. Next research is pretty interesting. God of the Machine. Develop a theory of consciousness. Provides advice to increase our influence. And delving into the intricate fabric of thought and cognition. I thought we had this already. But okay. Um, we could also convert raw durantium into raw manufacturing. And since we do have quite a lot of durantium, this could help us out a bit. Actually, we got zero right now because we are using it. We got uh, 0 0.1 for the star base. And this leads to a 0 0.9 production of the Rhinesium. Hmm. Go. Cool. Yeah. Or we go with a missile system. Let's go ahead with this because this unlocks the new ship class Avenger. Definitely. Right. We got several ships now moving down here. Together with my, my first frigate. And let's also go ahead and build us another star base. It's going to be a military star base because we... No, it's going to be a communication star base. And this one here we can actually upgrade with a star base defensive system. So let's go ahead and do this. One of the modules we have consumed with that. So we can defend the station now. 
itself. Um, and also, as you can see, we have now created a new station over there that is then going to increase our sphere of influence. Uh, that's pretty important. All right, what do we have here? Ah, we have finished the next artifact scanning. So we can go ahead with the capsules over there. I think that's, oh, there's also something, space junk. Let's have a look at the space junk first. In the capsule, there is an extension matrix. This Ooh. is a rare ship upgrade that will increase the weapon range. Okay, an upgrade to my ship. Bring the extension matrix now, on board. Disassemble it or sell it. Oh, that's 300 coin. That's a lot. In It's just a, a ship upgrade for my surveyor ship. Hmm. Okay, let's go for it. Probably a bit more interesting. All right. Colony ship is out. Let's send it down. Colony attempt number two, it is. <laughs> and then we also have my fighter here. I'm going to keep the fighters now stationed somewhere here. So we can gather them before I move further down there. Because I think the aliens are still there. Perfect. There's my base. We can actually move into the base now here. And also protected then as well there's another upgrade already advanced defenses let's go ahead with this that's now two upgrades that we have done to the space it's super important All right so this is getting into a military communication base all i've ever wanted out of a star base let's end the turn really we're just having this one goal now there's the next one um yeah the next mining base that we can also build now mining star base it is for more durantium and with that we have it, we could go for mining drones, but i rather save my modules. And we do get now a Durantium output, oh yeah, Promethean output, sorry, of two. All right, so out of the two star bases that we have. Perfect. Super important. Now, my frigate on its way. We can merge the fleet then. And I think, I think, I think the next frigate takes three more turns. It's still taking a long time, honestly. And we should have another colony ship somewhere here. I need to assign someone to this. Uh, rename it? No. I want to... I want to assign a colonist to it. Eject all ships. There it is. And let's get a normal citizen on board. So that's my next colony ship. We have two now. And I wanted to get it over there somewhere, right? This is yeah, the world. Hmm, isn't that too far away? It's really far away. Finding us a new system is difficult. We have this one then here. Plus five. But it would still we would still profit from it, right? Let's also send it south for the moment. All right, finish the manufacturing. We have now plus 22 manufacturing output. I definitely do need a bit more wealth though. So I might go ahead and build me also a financial district here that gets them boosted as well. And that's about it. There's no more thing that we can do right now. We really need a new core world. Otherwise, this is going to get nasty soon. Yeah, and there's the attack again. So those ships are really there, but my frigate can actually destroy them. All right, it seems like NOS. No casualties were predicted on our side and they had a total loss prediction. Why did they survive? Now, okay, there it goes. But that frigate took some damage. So we might, oh, only two points, right? So it's actually regenerating then again. And yeah, repair it, there you go. That's a frigate, right? The second frigate is out, so they're pretty strong. Let's send it over there so we can merge them together right away. With an immense oh, a new surveyor report, a wormhole we have found. Once we emerge on the other side, it takes several minutes for our navigational computers to confirm that we've traveled an incredible distance away. In this area, we are surrounded by a ring of valuable minerals. However, the anomaly, which is still present, is fluctuating in a manner that suggests it might close soon. If we decide to gather the wealth here, we should be prepared for a long journey back home. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Gather the wealth. That's actually the only thing we can. And we get a Helios Ore in addition. Look at this. And over here we are. <laughs> My poor surveyor. 
All right, we got the wealth right away. That's great. We also got the ore right away. A beautiful exotic metal popular in many luxury items. However, I think this ship here is screwed now because the wormhole ejected us somewhere and we need to go back home now manually. And of course, we know what's what's looking over there, right? All right, my frigate has been fully repaired. That was quick. Uh, let's... Oh. Oh, no. There is a, a bigger fleet coming. Let's actually move back here. Holy cow. They really want to destroy us there. Can we move further, please? Yes. One more step. There's my other frigate. So hopefully we get there on time. And let's hope they don't have enough points there. All right, this is not coming in so easily. I'm going to use one of my colony ships here to yeah, just settle on one of these smaller walls that we, we should be able to do, right? So that we can supply my core world a bit because this is looking really nasty right now. Mm -hmm. There would be more wealth here. Planetary defense plus three manufacturing. I don't care about research that much. I care about a bit more wealth and manufacturing. Let's settle on the Wazat uh, 4. I need to. I need to settle somewhere. We need to continue with the expansion. All right. Can we merge them, please? There you go. We got two frigates now. A two frigate fleet. That shouldn't be so easy now for the enemy. And the colony ship sticks with them. The next frigate is coming out in one, and I'm going to build another one right away. We want our. We want to build up some military strength there. All right, finish that. Also finish now the Xantium Extractor. Gives me a manufacturing bonus there once again. And also a Xantium Deposit that we can use. Next up, let's go for manufacturing again. That we can boost them. And we could also go with the Dimensional Mirrors study here. Let's actually do this. So that we provide a charge that will reveal a portion of the galaxy once more. That's pretty cool. And manufacturing, we could once again po uh, produce a population there. Mm-hmm. And another frigate. They cost me, though, right? So they cost me quite a bit. But it's fine. We have a lot of money, and it's an investment. Once I can build the core world, we'll be fine again financially. All right, we found a new galactic civilization as well. Uh, fake a smile once more. And so there is the other civilization. It's growing pretty quickly, right? So we are we're also growing here, and we're, of course, going to merge at some point. And I don't know where they are, though, yet. Perhaps down here. Yep, it's most likely down here somewhere. My ship that's on the way. By the way, my ship has that upgrade available. Extension matrix, there it is. So we do get some range to the weapon systems. That's the upgrade module. The supply ship, can we actually put this into the fleet? Perfect. So it gets protected by our frigates. And there's the other one coming. And then we'll have a fleet of... Oh, there they are. Heavy casualties on both sides are predicted at the moment. Let's rather move away again and try to get both of them together. Perfect. Now it's a number four. Still heavy casualties on both sides. What is this? Why do I have the most difficult starting positions? They're totally... Yeah. Hindering us on, on colonizing this cobalt that I absolutely need. As long as I don't have the other attack. There's not that much I can do, unfortunately. I need to settle this. I could probably could probably go around it. Let's send the colony ship to my starbase over there. That we, by the way, should also upgrade with uh, defensive systems. And then I'm trying to get both both of my colony ships in from both sides now. So one of them has to succeed. By the way, that's great. We can actually get another tile in. And with that, probably here, a planetary conversion. And with that, we can then further boost the manufacturing side. Or we could also go ahead and do it here. Pretty nifty. Um, other than that... Mm, technology capital... No. Let's go with the sensor ranges indeed. Because I do want to increase my area of influence and the area that I can see. Alright, we finished another frigate once more. Let's build another one. And this frigate also gets over there right away. Cost-wise, I don't care. We can always raise taxes. And let's go ahead and also put them on standby for now. 
I think the enemy is not here yet. They're not going to risk heavy casualties there too. At least I think so. At least I hope so. Okay, the big battle is upon us. We got four frigates and there's the three Bundy fleet too. With moderate losses on our side. Let's watch the battle. So we can go with quick battle obviously. But also with the bigger battles we can then just have a look at that. And there they are. Firing now, we got a bigger range. That's great. And one of them gets destroyed immediately. Whoops. The other one gets destroyed, now the mothership. That does the most damage, so we're losing a ship there now too. One is down. Uh, we're going to lose a second ship most likely. No! We have destroyed the mothership there too. One ship lost, three ships taken down. Perfect! And with that we have purged the threat from this side. And can hopefully safely now navigate down here to Bundy 2. But the game is not that kind to us. There's th two more uh, level 3 uh, fleets, so we could take care of one of them, but then that's the end of it. So I need to send in more frigates. And yeah, there I have a goal, just to get one core world. I think I'm a bit unlucky this time around. Still, that's a challenge we can overtake, or overcome. Um, if you enjoyed this one, don't forget to check out the link in the video description. It's Galactic Civilization 4 Supernova. This concludes the sponsored video series, the beginning, the early days of this game. And yeah, we continue with something new and i hope you enjoyed this one thanks again to star dog entertainment for sponsoring this and the game is out on steam happy playing cheers <laughs>